Before we start this video, I would request you all to support my channel Adam's Tech Guide by clicking on this red subscribe button right below this video. Once you guys click on this red subscribe button, you will see this bell notification icon right next to it. Please make sure you click on this bell notification icon and click on this all in order to get the notifications and the updates for my future videos. And last but not least, if you guys like my videos, please click on this thumbs up button to show me your love. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shabazz here from Adam's Tech Guide. Now in today's video, we're gonna learn how to reset our computer's password without using a flash drive, without using any software. So it's just like you have forgotten your computer's password and you just want to reset it to log into your computer and start working. I've made a video on this concept already but ever since that video i've been getting questions from my viewers that what if in case we don't have any flash drive it's just a locked computer we just want to reset the password what in that case you will not get time to search for image file and make a bootable flash drive those things are something which is not possible for a person to do at that moment now that is the only reason why in order to address all those issues i have made this video to make sure you guys are doing things right and if in case uh you know by mistakenly you guys have locked your password or if in case something or the other might have happened because of which the password is not working your computer has been locked what to do in that case you guys will come to know in this video so guys please stay tuned without wasting any further ado let's get started with the video Alright guys, so this is my computer's monitor screen. I'm going to first lock my computer and I'm going to show you all, uh, you know, what's there on my computer's lock screen. Now this is my computer's lock screen. I'll keep the shift button pressed and I'll uh, click on this power icon right here and I'll click on restart. Okay, let me just remove my keyboard's cover so that you guys will be able to see my shift key so this is my keyboard i'm gonna have to keep the shift button pressed like this and i'll have to go to the uh, power button and i'll click on the restart by keeping the shift button pressed all right so this is my keyboard and i'm gonna click on the restart and i'll click on restart anyway all right now my computer will be uh, restarting itself. I'm gonna turn off the lights now. Our computer will take us to some different screen altogether, which will ask us to select the options or choose the options. Since uh, I've closed the lights altogether, so my camera at time will not focus on what's there on the screen. Uh, and I'm not able to see what's there on the camera as well because I'm standing in front of the camera and okay so it will take us to this page which will uh, you know kind of uh, ask us to choose options as I mentioned earlier I'm gonna reduce the brightness first and I'm gonna focus on the screen all right let me just okay unlock the focus here perfect okay so these are the options which will come on the screen once your computer restarts from here we'll have to select the right option to go for in order to enter into the command prompt okay so i'll go to the uh, so i'll go to the troubleshoot i'll click here i'll go to the advanced option you guys might be able to hear me from the left side because i came at the extreme left side and i'm using the computer so please bear with me guys for the stereo sound the next page will be advanced options from here we'll have to come to the command prompt so let me go to the command prompt i'm gonna click on it so this will bring up the command prompt box and let me just reduce the brightness okay first off i'm gonna all right here you go okay perfect so here we have the command prompt box now we have to enter notepad here we have to type in notepad and we'll press enter now as we open a notepad our goal is not to type anything in the notepad it's just a way for us to access our system 32 folder so we'll go to files and we will go to open now we'll go to this pc 
we'll go to our C drive, we'll go to Windows, and we'll have to now search for our System32 folder. Uh, so I'll scroll down a little bit, and here we have our System32 folder. I'll double click here. Now once we are into this uh, System32 folder, we'll have to click on this drop down, and we'll have to select all files in order to make all the files visible. And we have to search for the file name S-E-T-H-C. File name will be written on screen. That's S as in Sierra, E as in Echo, T as in Tango, H as in Hotel, and C as in Charlie. That's S-E-T-H-C. Okay, here it is. So this is the file which we are looking out for. So we're gonna have to rename this file. So let's see uh, S-E-T-H-C. And uh, I'm gonna just put hyphen and I'm gonna put I'm just, I'm, I'm just renaming this file just in case so this file has been already renamed now the other file which we have to rename is our command prompt so we'll have to search for our CMD file uh, now the second file which we have to rename is this CMD as you guys can see it's right here so I'm gonna just highlight this and uh, I'll rename it to set hc all right so I'm going to rename CMD to SETHC. It's written right here. Um, and I'll just, you know, click anywhere in order to the file to take effect. So we have renamed the files. Now we have to, you know, just cancel this and we'll have to close things, close things. Now, after making these changes, we'll have to go and continue to our Windows 11. So we'll have to click here, which says exit and continue to Windows 11. We'll click on this. So as you guys can see, our computer has been restarted and we are on our lock screen now. So the password is 123, which I'm typing right here. And as you guys can see, it's written right here, 123. And I'm just pressing enter and it's not taking this password, all right? Now it's time for us to change the password for our computer. Now in order to bring the command prompt box on the lock screen, you're gonna have to uh, keep tapping the shift button five times. Now you're gonna have to type in shift button five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Now the command prompt box popped up on the screen as you guys can see right there let me just bring the command box in the center so that you guys will be able to see and uh, let me see if I can focus my camera a little bit uh, to the command prompt box okay if you guys want you guys can refer to the commands all of these commands will be in the description box so again I'm gonna come here first command is gonna be net local group and space administrator so that's going to be administrators net local group administrators enter so um okay let me just increase the font size so you guys will be able to see things properly okay Adam's tech guy this is the account for which I have forgotten the password and I want to change the password I'm not referring to this one so the command is going to be net local group as you guys can see right here the command is net local group administrators administrators and then it will give you all the users on this computer so as you guys can see this is my account I'm referring to uh, okay and I'm also gonna you know show you all side by side so this is my account and this is my username and account all right now i'm gonna change the password so this is the important command which will help you to change the password all right now i'm gonna change the password so this is the important command which will help you to change the password that's gonna be net user and then space and then username so that's gonna be my username which is right here or right here so i'm gonna put in my username and then you're gonna have to put the space in between and then you'll have to press the star sign and press enter now it's asking you to enter your password so you're gonna have to put in your password which you want to put so i'm gonna put in one two three 
and press enter. It's asking to confirm the password. I'm going to press one, two, three. And again, I'll press enter. It's written over here. The command has been completed successfully. That means the password has been changed. Let's check if the password has been changed and let's check if we are able to access our computer now. So I'm going to press one, two, three as my password. As you guys can see right here, I'll make it visible. That's one, two, three. And I'll come here and I'll press enter and I'm able to log into my account. So guys, without using a flash drive and without using any software, we have unlocked our account and we have resetted the password for our computer. Now guys, after you have done resetting the password for your computer, I have again came back to uh, this system 32 folder. Uh, I'm gonna just come here, click on this drop down, and go for all files. There are high chances that you will still find the command prompt right here. Um, you know, it will not change the name of itself since you guys can see right here it shows command prompt. Now it will show command prompt but the name has been changed guys so please try to rename back to command prompt it will not take my changes since i have already renamed it to command cmd so probably it will not okay, it has taken the changes so rename this command prompt again back to cmd so guys that's all you have to do in order to make things back to normal in your computer so guys that's it for today's video I hope this video have provided you information that you guys needed. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel Adam's Tech Guide in order to support me. Please write down your comments in the comments box. If you guys face any issues with this process, please do feel free to write down the comments in the comments box down there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.